from sewing blue and yellow flags to painting on posters, this group of Northern Californians is standing in solidarity with Ukraine. Everything in this room is being prepared for a rally Friday at the state capitol. Friday marks one year since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began. The war has devastated cities and killed thousands of people. My Ukrainian heart can't just look at this and do nothing. Daria Avtuk was born in Ukraine. She was crowned Miss Ukraine California 2023 and wants to use her platform to raise awareness. It's just as important to keep supporting Ukraine and Ukrainian people as it was the first day of the invasion. Avtuk says that's because her relatives in Ukraine are still suffering and she's especially worried about her godfather who's fighting in the war. Air raid sirens are always on all, all the time and they had a few bombings there. KCRA 3 spoke to this man who says he's working with the Ukrainian military to coordinate donations overseas. Collect things here that will help the soldiers on the ground there, helmets, bulletproof vests. The people here trying to make a difference are not only Ukrainian, some are Russian, and they've been involved from the very beginning. We became a family. Anna Burbaniva is with the voices of Russian opposition in Sacramento. For a year now, KCRE 3 has been following this group made up of Russians who denounced the actions of their home country. We need to speak up, we need to act, we need to fundraise, we need to volunteer, we need to spend every, every cent that we have to help Ukraine. Burbaniva says they've even received certificates and medals from Ukraine for what they've done over the past year. This one is uh, to me and this one is uh, to my group. Everyone just wants to give love and promote peace. Ukraine! Orko Mana, KCRA 3 News. And that rally planned for this Friday is being called 365 Days of Bravery. It's scheduled to start at 6 p.m. on the west steps of the state capitol.